things. Today we are going to review the prefixes im and in. This goes along with our learning goal that says I can decode and read words with the prefixes im and in. Remember that a prefix is a word part that is added to the beginning of a base word. For example, if I have the word incomplete, my base word is complete. And when I add the prefix in, in front of complete, it changes the meaning of the word complete to meaning not complete. Let's practice with a few other words. I'm going to leave our poster up that shows in and in mean not. The first word let's practice with is impatient. Well, we know that if you are patient, it means you are willing to wait for something. But if you add the prefix im in front of the word patient, it means that you are not patient. Let's take a look at another word. I have the word invisible. We know that visible means you can see something. However, if I put the prefix in in front of visible, now I change the meaning to mean not visible or not being able to be seen. Let's practice with these two words. What I would like you to do is to tell me the meaning of these two words and then come up with a sentence using these two words with the prefixes im and in. Pause this video and with your learning guides I would like you to discuss the definition of these words and give me a sentence using these two words and then come on back and play this video when you are ready. All right, how did you do? So for the word impossible, you should have the definition not possible or not able to because adding the prefix im in front of possible changes it to mean not possible. The sentence that I used says, it was impossible to get a 100% on the test. I'm sure your sentence was just as good. Lastly, we have the word inactive. Inactive means not active. So the sentence that I used was, the boys were inactive while playing their video games. Check your sentence and see if you use the word inactive correctly. Friends, you have done an amazing job practicing with the prefixes M and N. I can't wait to see your work.